Hey bitch, what's good? Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video. But recently I did a haul and in that haul I showed you guys a bunch of new makeup that I ordered off of Ulta and today I'm gonna to be trying it out for you guys and for me obviously. I got a bunch of different products from brands that I haven't really ever tried before. Um, the only thing that I did get from a brand that I already know that I love is this Power Grip Primer by e.l.f. But you guys will see my thoughts on this primer. But I did get a new eyeshadow palette. This is from Juvia's Place. I got to try a new setting powder by LA Girl. A new Rem Mascara. As well as a blush from Flower Beauty. And just so many other amazing goodies. If you guys are ready to see how I got my full makeup look today. Using all of these new products. They new to me. I, I, I don't want y'all sitting here thinking, oh, these are like brand new products to the market. No, bitch. These are just new products to me. Um, I believe some of these are new, new to like the public and the market, but for the most part, these are just products and brands that I haven't really gotten a chance to dive into. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Make sure you grab some makeup brushes, a snacky joint, and let's get glam, bitches. Okay, so this is the first item that I'm going to start with. So this is the... Pacifica Eye Bright Under Eye Vitamin C Spot Serum Mask. So these are a single use type of thing. I did not know that. Basically, you just put them under your eye, you press them in nice and firm, and it just says to kick your feet up for 10 to 20 minutes and remove them, gently dispose of them, and you don't have to rinse anything off. This is what they look like. I don't have anything on my skin other than moisturizer, so I'm going to go ahead and place these under my eyes. Also, if you guys can hear that noise, um, ignore it. It's Zoku and he is being such a bad wow wow. Okay, well they feel very nice. 10 to 20 minutes. I'm going to do 15 just because <laughs> it's in the middle. So I'll leave this on for 15 minutes and then we'll come back and see if it helped any with my under eyes. Let's remove them and see what it looks like, shall we? Okay. And now I'm just gonna like massage that in. Um, it feels low-key kind of tight under here. A little bit firm. Okay, and it's nice and moisturized for sure under there. Okay, it said that you didn't have to like rinse anything off. So we're just gonna leave it like that. I think they're a little less puffy and my under eye is definitely a little brighter. I really like these, how fun. The only thing that I wish was different is that I hate that they're a one-time use thing, Um, but they're only about $4, so not too bad not too shabby i definitely want to give these another try because i really like that i really like how it made my under eye look and feel cute okay this is the juvia's place nubian eyeshadow palette this is what this one looks like i've never tried anything from juvia's place before i picked up a palette that was very much like my color scheme which is why i picked up like a neutral one I did see that they had like a bunch of other different palettes some of them with like brighter and bolder colors. Okay, I'm gonna mix this shade right here with a little bit of this one up here. I've never tried Juvia's Place eyeshadows, so I'm gonna start off with a light little hand and build up. And I'm just putting this in my outer crease, outer corner. Now I'm gonna take this shade right here, little pencil brush like this, and I'm just going to deepen up that crease and then blend this up a little bit i'm gonna take the tiniest bit of this shade right here with that same little brush and i'm just gonna again deepen the crease okay and then i'm gonna take this shade right here and i'm gonna put that all over my lid i don't know if i have to wet this but i'm gonna try to dry first okay that looks pretty like dry but i just want to tap a little bit of oh yeah dampened the brush with a little bit of eyeshadow on it and I'm just going on top of it yeah that's exactly what it needed 
so pretty, so pretty. I do have a little bit of fallout with the shades, but I mean, I feel like that's typical. <laughs> And every eyeshadow palette all it doesn't really like bother me i know some people are like really anal about that so i'm gonna move on to the face and for primer i'm gonna be using this elf power grip primer i've been trying to get a hold of this forever now and it's always sold out and i can't ever find it finally able to get my hands on it so let's try this bitch out this is supposed to be very very like good and People compare it a lot to the Milk Hydro Grip Primer, I believe. This is what it looks like. It just comes out clear. So let me go ahead and put this on my T-zone, because that's where I need it to grip the most. I finally got my eyebrows done yesterday and my toes. I don't need to have like my hands done, you know what I mean? As long as I get my eyebrows and my feet. Oof, bitch, I'm golden. I hate when my toes aren't painted or like done. Just like irritates me. Anywho, point of that story was that I got my chin waxed as well, like down here and up here. First of all, I didn't know you could do that. Second of all, loved that so fucking much. I'm gonna keep doing that for sure. That's like the bad thing about trying new things is that like if you like it, you want to keep doing it, and then it's just more money <laughs> you gotta spend on yourself. Mil veces prefiero gastarme dinero en mí o algo para mí que en algo para otro way. I'm gonna set that primer like I do with every other primer with my Maybelline Fit Me. I really like that primer. It's very nice, very sticky. It smoothed out my skin so good. Wow. I didn't know I was gonna like that primer as much as I like it. I'm moving on to cream contour. I have the Fenty Beauty contour match stick thing. I have been wanting to get my hands on this for the longest fucking time and I finally did. So let's go ahead and just try her the fuck out. I'm gonna take some with my foundation brush. Just kind of do this. And go for it. Mm. Nice, Rihanna. I really like it. It's nice. It's creamy. It's very, very blendable. Okay, I also have a new blush to try. So this is the Flower Beauty Blush Balm, and I got it in the shade Cinnamon. Okay, so I'm going to put a drop of this on the back of my hand. Oh, okay. Oh, that's what that looks like. I'm going to apply it with a brush, so I'm just gonna dip into it a little bit. Oh, actually, I actually think it would be really pretty. And I'm just gonna go on my skin. Okay, so I really like that color and I really like the way these blend out super nicely and you can definitely build it up. As you guys can see, this one has more blush than this one. <laughs> I'm gonna set my under eyes with this and this is the LA Girl Pro Setting Powder. I don't know. I don't know. I've never tried this. Um, I haven't really tried LA Girl before. I have a bunch of their lip liners because they're bomb, but not too familiar with the rest of their products. How cute. Aww. Aww. I might keep this in my bag. I'm just pressing that in with my sponge. Just under my eyes to make sure that they don't like crease and on my smile lines. I also picked up this MAC Blossom Fix Plus. I have never owned a Fix Plus before, so I'm excited to see how to use this. How do you fucking... Oh, okay, okay. You just twist the little lid a little bit and you just bring it. Ooh. Most delicious. Okay, let me go over that with my sponge. Online, it said that you could use this before your makeup to prime your face, after your makeup to set it, in between your makeup, obviously, and like throughout the day to just refreshen and rehydrate your 
face. So I thought that was pretty fucking lit. It smells really, really fucking good. This was limited edition. I don't know how long you'll be able to get this one. So I'm almost done. I'm just gonna finish up with the under eyes. I think I'm just gonna take this shade right here. Smudge that on the lower lash line. Okay, I'm gonna take some more of that lid shade and just pop this in my inner corner as well as on the brow bone. And I think I'm just gonna take that same shimmery eyeshadow and just put it on my nose as my highlight. Okay, I'm gonna take this shade right here on a little angled brush like so. And I'm just gonna smudge this on my upper lash line. I did put a little bit of a liquid liner up here just for definition. So I have one more item that I'm gonna try out with you guys. That's why I'm curling my lashes right now because it is a mascara. So I picked up the REM Beauty Lengthening Mascara, or Volumizing, I'm sorry, not the lengthening one. It kind of looks like a little bullet if you guys can see the way it's like shaped. That's kind of cool. Okay, let's try it out. Also, this is nice and like heavy. It doesn't feel cheap or anything and the wand is nice and like sturdy it's not like flimsy you know what i mean this is what the wand looks like interesting shape all right let's go ahead and give this a go i also like that the wand isn't super long because sometimes when the wand is too long it's like less whoa whoa <laughs> okay it's less control is what i was trying to say but whoa i am pretty impressed with this i'm not even gonna lie to you guys and it takes a lot for mascara to really impress me because i just feel like i've tried so many different formulas and just mascaras and different brands and stuff like that so it's very hard to impress me um but um miss ponytail knows exactly what the fuck she's doing okay with these mascaras because wow i did go in with just one coat so i'm gonna go in with a second coat and see what happens very nice for building um i only added like half a coat more but yeah yeah highly would recommend this mascara this is the completed look what do we think what do we think i absolutely love the way my makeup came out today i think there wasn't a single product in today's video that i was disappointed with which is fucking amazing the only thing that i do have a complaint about is those under eye masks i wish it came with more or that you could reuse them more than once because wow i loved the way that made my under eyes feel and look and just the like outcome of my makeup my under eyes look so pretty okay so fucking pretty i'm definitely gonna stop by today and get some more of those because yeah so cute i loved the eyeshadow palette it was super cute mascara was amazing that la girl powder bitch to die for really 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 good what else did we have oh my god the fenty contour matchstick yeah yeah that was fabulous same thing with the primer absolutely love that primer not gonna lie i think it replaced my putty primer by elf it used to be my all-time favorite primer but now i think it's this power grip shit this shit is amazing loved that blush as well i think in the fall time that color would be even better every single thing that i tried in today's video was a hit absolute gems found today i hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day a the best rest of your week don't forget to smile be happy fuck the world live it up bitch and no regrets 2022 because <laughs> you guys that was gonna be my model for the rest of the summer and it is it is how as always i love you more than you will ever begin to imagine obviously don't forget to subscribe down below and hit the little notification bell so that you get notified when my beautiful face pops up on the internet again i'll see you guys in the next video bye guys